accommodate, uh, accommodate you guys. I know you guys are doing a lot here. So. My name is Charlie Lucan. Uh, that's C H A R L I E L U K E N, and I am chairman of the Ohio Jobs and Growth Committee. Very quickly, uh, three months ago, we told all of you that we had a plan to bring 20,000 new jobs to the state of Ohio, $650 million in tax revenue every year, and over a billion dollars in capital investment, none of which is our public dollars. This is all private dollars. Today, we make that commitment official. And we make it official by filing around 850,000 signatures. We need 404,000. And we're filing about 850,000. Uh, simply stated, this is a program to put four casinos in Ohio's largest urban centers. It will help revitalize those urban centers by putting an valid entertainment venue in those urban centers. And as a former mayor, I can tell you that uh, putting something in this location in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, would make people interested in the future of Cincinnati stand and cheer. And I would expect the same is true in Cleveland and in Columbus and in Toledo. So we filed the petitions, 20,000 new jobs, 850, 650 million dollars in tax revenue every year, over a billion dollars in, uh, in investment, uh, capital investment that we have with us. I just want you to know, we have with us representatives of Building Trades and the AFL-CIO. They're interested in jobs for Ohio. We're interested in jobs for Ohio. And that is what this plan's going to do. So if you have any questions, I'll Is it certain you will build all four casinos or some question that this is authorizes but doesn't require the, you to? The question of whether we'll build them is something that's been floated by opponents, and it's really a strange one. We have two of the most reputable folks uh, in business behind this. They say they will do it. Our lawyers tell us they have to do it, and we are committed to do it. So the answer to the question is, we will build four casinos in these, at these sites. Why should, Ohioans, why should Ohioans back a plan that gives the government and the schools 33% of the money, uh, as opposed to a plan that's in the legislature that might give the government almost half of the money? This plan uh, creates jobs, for one significant number of jobs. Secondly, the tax rate that we have is higher than some states, a little lower than other states, but it's in the ballpark. It can, our plan has over a billion dollars of capital investment. It's a lot different than just putting slots somewhere, but I don't want to compare these two programs. This is the plan we told people we were going to do. This is the plan we're moving forward with. The unemployment rate in Ohio, unless anybody noticed, is about 11%. 20,000 jobs are a lot of jobs. And a billion dollars in capital investment is a lot of money. So people in Ohio care about jobs. They care about new jobs. And that's what this plan does. Why would this plan succeed and four previous ones since 1990 have gone down some good, by good, big margin? Yeah, really good question. I mean, I think this clearly is the best plan that Ohio voters have ever had. And here's why. It's going to revitalize urban centers. It's going to create jobs. And it's going to create tax revenue that's going to local communities and local public school districts. So on, and on all of those levels, this is by far the best plan Ohioans have ever seen. And I think the economy is a big factor. I mean, I think the economy is different, and that's going to make our job easier than past plans.